بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد عاصم ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر گائز ان دس ویڈیو ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین ڈپلوائی دا اپاچی ایئر فلو وتھ ڈاکر کنٹینرز اینڈ وی ار گوئنگ ٹو یوز ا لٹل ڈفرنٹ اسٹریٹجی لائک وی ار گوئنگ ٹو یوز انسبل اینڈ آئی ہیو ریٹن دا پلے بک فار یو گائز اینڈ آلسو کریٹڈ دا ریپوزٹری اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شیئر دا لنک وتھ یو گائز of that particular repository so guys this is the official documentation and uh, in this documentation you will find the exactly the same docker compose which we are going to use for the deployment and one thing i need to tell you that uh, i'm going to use this template uh, i mean docker compose so let's begin other than that uh, that is very important to uh, check whether your ec2 machine is able to uh, have that particular spec size which is recommended by the airflow which means you your machine should have at least 4 gigs of ram so i'm using the t3 medium for this demo but i recommend to use t3 large for your deployments so uh, to check that uh, this command is also available on this documentation it is not that i'm actually giving you command from uh, any other side so this command is also available on this documentation so um, what you need to do simply copy this guy and paste it here but it's going to fail because currently we don't have any docker on this machine by default uh, if you spin up this ubuntu machine you don't have by default docker installed so let me show you that this is a blank machine we don't have any docker but the playbook which we are going to use um, will set up the installation of docker docker compose and everything will be there so let's begin So guys, uh, first of all, let me show you that this is the EC2 machine and this is the IP address. Uh, let me show you the code as well. So this is the playbook uh, which I have written for uh, you guys. And in this playbook, um, what we are going to do, simply install the Docker. And after the installation of Docker, uh, we are going to deploy uh, the Airflow. And uh, with the installation of Docker, by default, uh, you will get the Docker Compose version 2 latest, right? So you don't have to install Docker Compose. Simply, we need this line. Now, why we are using Docker? Uh, because I found lots of people using the old traditional method of uh, deploying the application till now, even we are in 2022. I mean, they are going to use um, a regular installation with Ansible, like uh, installation of packages and dependencies. The issues, uh, the issue with that approach is that you are really limited to OS, specific OS. With this approach, if you have Docker installed, you can easily spin up this uh, Airflow in five minutes or even less than five minutes. So it is just a matter of uh, deployment. So I just would like to show you guys that we should now move to that old traditional approach because companies, uh, making uh, their docker images or sending their containers or images to registries it doesn't really mean that those are found or limited to kubernetes or docker swarm you can use as your deployment strategies even in the in the clustering as well in the installation as well and it is the understanding of docker compose and docker how it works so in this approach i'm using the ansible and the advantage of using the ansible is that for instance i need to deploy this on 20 server 100 server or a single server you can do that as well but definitely you can use the other approaches as well which i've already covered with the aws ssm and other but this ansible is you know it's a generic tool which you can use with azure we can um, use on google so that is the reason of uh, choosing this tool and understandability of this powerful tool Ansible. So guys, uh, this is the first step and little bit of uh, sharing knowledge with you guys. We are, what we are going to do, exactly creating these same directories for persistence of our uh, plugins, logs, and um, tags, right? And then we are going to use the same Docker Compose, which we are going to copy to that particular machine and the installation of that is going to be simply as uh, you see, we are using the Docker Compose version two, as I told you before that by default, we have Docker Compose version two available with that particular installation of Docker.
so uh, let's begin what I'm going to do I'm going to take a shell into my container right so I've already told or show you or teach you in previous videos or share the knowledge with you how to use container in your operational as a DevOps engineer activities and use the existing uh, work done already by companies and simply use that instead of you know setting up your own uh, so I told I have created a video with regard to the Ansible on Windows, how we can use that. And this is one of the you see uh, solution I'm, which I'm setting here. So I'm going to simply uh, navigate to pipelines, although uh, sorry, playbooks. I created a video, uh, sorry, I've created a repository and you will get the code as well. So no issue with that. So flow let me just let me navigate to that what we have ansible airflow and one more stuff regarding docker right so um what i'm gonna do first of all try to run this playbook and everything i told you that uh, is their Ansible playbook, how can I inventory? I'm going to use the inventory and I'm going to use this playbook. So let's see if everything goes well. We should be able to deploy the airflow on the particular machine. And along with that, we are going to set a first thing first. So it says it's unable to connect with that guy. So it says it's unreachable. And because it is unreachable, the reason for that. Uh, this is secured with the security group, although it is a sandbox environment. Uh, what you need to do is to make sure you should have SSH port open and I'm going to open this on my IP address, right? And also I'm going to open one default port 8080 on my IP address to show you guys that uh, this is the port we are going to use. Uh, to access the web of uh, Apache Airflow. So let's try again and see what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. So guys, uh, as I told you, this is the approach um, with Ansible. It's quite a bit much more easier. Simply you have to run this playbook and how Ansible works, all that I've already shared in my previous videos how you can use windows run this on windows or any os machine whether you are using mac because these are the containers which you are using so if, as long as you have docker on the machine we are going to use the same container and the playbook is going to be simply um, which i've shared with you guys simply clone it and that's it so i've updated the inventory and um, i've just um, previously tested this uh, code as well so let me show you the inventory part. Uh, I we are using the ANS, uh, Airflow one here. This is the group, and these are the keys. Uh, and the user is Ubuntu, right? So what it does right now, it has installed the Docker, and now it is installing. Uh, sorry, it um, it is setting up the relevant directories for persistent storage uh, because even if the machine is rebooted. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because our uh, data is going to be stored on the disk rather than inside the containers. So as I told you, everything is available in the documentation. I just make it more easier to give you a Ansible playbook to buy on multiple servers and that's it. And the reason of setting up in Docker uh, is uh, this because I've already tested it on my uh, different machine. So uh, that's why I choose to use Docker. So it seems like the installation has pretty much uh, towards it and
So I'm going to show you the container as well. Let it finish. So what in which step we are here? So we are initializing the Airflow database, right? So and it will take a while and also after the installation uh you will see the containers are going to be up and available and if you run the same playbook on the same machine it will not give you an error or any um, downtime in the deployment because uh, as long i mean it will um, has satisfied all the installations which needs to be done so you will not get any error if you simply redeploy this uh, on that particular uh, same machine so initialization of database will take time and i'm going to pause the video to save the time so guys the initialization of um, database or migration of database as it is in python is done and the running airflow is also done so simply what we can do we can take a shell into this machine and if i do docker docker p as you will see all the containers are up and running but you have to wait for a while to make sure all the containers and everything should be in a healthy state and it seems like so what i can do for testing simply copy the ip address of this machine as uh, this is the documentation i'm going to close it and i'm going to simply paste it here with port 8080 and with docker compose uh, you will get the user by default is airflow and airflow so guys as i told you you have to wait for a while uh, let, let give it a little time so you see it is saying starting starting so you have to wait for a while it will even show uh, as unhealthy but uh, it will take a time to so you so be patient with this i mean um let, let these containers in healthy state because these are starting as deployment is uh, is in place so as once all the containers are in healthy state you will find that uh, let me also check that again you see is in healthy state and it is starting as well port 8080 so it seems like all are in healthy state so if i try to go to this uh, website again and try to reload it you see now the application is available and by default user is airflow airflow you can definitely um, change this admin user and the administration of uh, apache airflow is not going to be covered in this video but this is the deployment as i told you the reason for setting up with Docker is the easiest way to deploy and use the Ansible to deploy on multiple uh, machines. And this is the flexibility and the power which uh, container gave us. And uh, this is how easy it is if we go for this approach by using the Docker container instead of installing it manually, which if I show you, uh, if you navigate to the Ansible Galaxy, Ansible Galaxy, right? And simply, I want to show you the limitation with going uh, with the roles Ansible has. And if you navigate, if you go for the container approach, simply type Airflow, and you will see the limitation. So this is the rating 4.2, and I'm going to show you the rating with 4.9, right? So these guys have has done a great job but you see the limitation is debian stretch we need this debian and with docker you have no almost zero limitation as long as you have docker on your machine whether it is windows amazon linux ubuntu centos whatever machine you have you have no limitation and the deployment is so easy and even i've tested this i found it on the latest uh, Debian 11 machine, I have a lot of issues regarding the dependencies because with the Debian stretch, uh, we have to be specific. This uh, 
I mean, distribution and this uh, version of uh, operating system with Ubuntu, Bionic, and Zenith. I mean, the whole idea and point is that you are so much limited and you have to do a lot of stuff regarding the installation of packages. And with Docker, this is the how easy it is. And it is not just um, Docker. This is the reason companies uh, maintaining their Docker images. Is, it is not just uh, limited to Kubernetes and all the stuff. You can manage your EC2 machine with the containers as well. And But you have to have mindset that if you have good knowledge of Docker, Docker Compose, then you will be able to do that. And it is not that difficult. In this modern era, I found lots of people going with the old traditional approach, which we use about two decades ago. And it is same uh, we are implemented. So uh, if you do Docker, Airflow Docker, right? And if you simply tap Airflow Docker Hub, I'm going to show you why these companies are maintaining their images. Although you can deploy on Kubernetes, I'm not saying that it is not uh, something you can uh, deploy on uh, Kubernetes, but it is, you're not just limited to Kubernetes. You can use this approach of deploying the stuff on the EC2 machine, on your VM's machine, your local machines. So uh, that's it. So if you guys like the video and like the post, please like, share, and subscribe the channel. And have a nice day.